Hi. Oh. <coughs> I mean, hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh, my throat. Ah. Hello, 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 warriors. Welcome to Keon Plays. Sing you right, love bow party. Yuki Morisanda story. Let's continue on. And we're going to go with the divine ending. So, yeah, this is the end of everything. And I might go back and replay it all over again so I can get the noble ending. So, yeah, the noble ending I might try and get after I'm done playing the, um, the act two. Let's do this. You have chosen the divine ending. Choose ending. Divine ending final. Reason to live. Also, I just woke up, so don't judge me. I'm tired. A little tired. So you might hear bloopers here and there. I'm clicking on it, but it's not going. Somehow Sasuke and I arrive at Yuda Castle just before dawn. The guard at the gate seems just as surprised to see us haggar in a sheen faced as we were. Lord Sasuke and Lady Keon, what are you doing back? The Oda and the Tokugawa armies are going to attack Yuta Castle at dawn. They're what? I need to speak to Lord Nobuyuki immediately. Understood. I'll take Lady Keon somewhere safe. No, I'm going to go warn the townspeople. They can still make it out if I go now. But this is an emergency. I cannot just stand by safety in while the people are in danger. The guards nod. Reluctantly, as you wish. Kian, go quickly. Sasuke, tell Lord Nobuyuki everything. Leave it to me. We nod and part ways. I run back down the mountain to the village. Evacuate to the castle immediately. The enemy is attacking at dawn. Determined, I yell over and over again. The people start running from their homes, looking at the others in the uh, streets. Are the Oda in Tokugawa really going to attack Yuta? Seems so. Lady Sanda is telling all of us to get out. We have to move. Tell everyone immediately. A few of the villagers help me evacuate the others. Lady, we should escape as well. Right, ah. I realize that there is one person who we have left behind. Saizo, of course he wouldn't have heard and even if he did, there's no way he could get out with a gunshot wound. Lady, you go, leave me. But lady, ah, please wait. I dash back down into town, intending to go straight to Sizel's house, but ah, what is with the ahs? Stop it. Stop it with the ahs. If I say all oh, one more time, one more time, seriously, one more freaking time, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah, one more time. Ah, oh, one more time. Say it one more time. Seriously, what the? I look back over my shoulders. The army has already arrived, sending the townspeople scattering in fro. The rear guard already has their arrow lit and ready to fire, surely to burn the little village to the ground. They can't be here. It's not even dawn yet. The town. As the archers release their fire arrows, 
the world changes in an instant. This town, the site of my happy memories, the festival with Lord Yukimura and Sasuke, was now a hell of searing flames. This can't be happening. I stand there, stunned, until a horse stops right in front of my eyes. I look up and grasp, I mean gasp in horror when I see who it is riding. Let me guess, it's Iyasu. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> tis, tis, you escaped me and get all the way here, and here we are again. What a shame that you have forced me to kill you. You. He also dismounts his horse easily, already drawing his blade. His men have fanned out all around me in a matter of moments. Even if I were to try to run, there is nowhere for me to go. But I can't die yet. I try to back away, then grip over my own feet and fall to the ground. What the? Stop it with the ass! Such a clumsy little girl, aren't you? He also stands before me, his expression saying that he is absolutely relishing this moment. His blade catches the light of the flames bright amongst the acrid smoke. Lord Yukimura! Wanting my last thoughts on this earth to be of the man I love, I say his name as I prepare for the embrace of death. What? What happened? Why, why was he making that face? What? I'm confused. Let's see what happens. Yukimura comes to my rescue? Let me guess that. I guess that. I guess Yukimura did come. For a moment, I think I feel the wind, but then I realize that it has a shadow. Sizo! Oh my gosh, Sizo! Sizo! Sure enough, it is he. The His body marked by the fresh wounds, as well as the scar of the old. Ah, so this is Sanda Ninja, is it? Lord Iyasu moves to strike Sizo down, but he flips numbly out of the sword's path. Sizo, don't push yourself! Sizo falls to his knees, clutching his stomach, but his cold glare does not falter for an instant. Blood stain his Kimoto seeping through his fingers. Sizo, don't... Yeah, you think... Don't move. Sizo. Though I weakly call out to him, my feet can't do nothing but obey his stern orders. Meanwhile, he managed to get himself back on his feet, shakily, his fingers dripping blood into the dirt. Do you really take your job so seriously that you would risk yourself to protect a woman? Please. Lord Yasu sneers at Sizo painfully. Horse reply. Ah, so you have feelings for her. Is that it? The last noble stand for your beloved? Is it? No, you're being stupid. Hmm, let's go with that. That would kill you. We'll see. Sizo smirks as he draws his blade, the force of the draw making him slump over. But in fl a flash, he leaps towards Iyasu, his sword clashing against his with a loud clink. Oh, Sizo! Though I knew he was fighting for his life, all I could do was watch. This is getting interesting. I love it. Next. I thought it was Yukimura, but it was Sizo that saved me. That's a surprise. That's a shocker.
My, it would be a shame to lose such a skilled warrior to death. Will you sleep with the Tokugawa instead? That mouth of yours is maybe skilled, but it betrays your weakness, Tokugawa. And that extra mouth carved into your stomach betrays you, ninja. Um, Lord Iyasu takes a step forward and knocks away Saizo's sword. It flies through the air, lodging itself into the dirt right in front of my feet. I must say, this is my first time facing an unarmed ninja. He, he also kicks Saizo as hard as he can in the stomach. Saizo crumbles instantly. Bastard. If it goes on like this, I take the sword from the dirt and force myself between them. Oh, ho, ho. The hilt of the sword r rattles as Iyasu grins. If I thought he was enjoying this before, now his mirth is unmistakable. Ah, so the Sada woman knows how to use a real man's weapon, does she? Shut up. Not to worry. I'm sure his spear won't miss you. The perfect samurai has surely seen his perfect end by now. Lord Yukimura will return to this place alive, but until that day, I will protect his people. Now, don't get me wrong. I have nothing against a woman with a bit of her man in her. However, I... <laughs> Gosh damn the off. He also reaches out and takes the blade strongly under my grip easily, winching it out of my hand. That damnable smile of his is still on his face as he turns the blade to on me, pressing it against my throat. Seems as if the little lady won't be protecting so much as a rat in the cellar now, will she? Damn you. Now let us see how well you can beg. This is why I hate Iyasu. And he kills Mitsunari. You know why I hate him. I hate him so much. A love-hate relationship, though. <laughs> but it's more about the hate. It's less, less love. My blood runs cold. There's no mistaking that he does intend to kill me. A cold sweat dampens the back of my kimoto and I can't even breathe knowing that my life could be in its final moments. Desperately, I force myself to amiss the cruel commands Yasu spits at me. I said beg. Beg me for your life. I, I will not. Ah, so the lady wishes to join her husband. Is that it? Lord Yukimura is not dead. I believe this with every fiber of my being. That's why I cannot die yet. Not here. Not now. You think he's coming to save you. His eyes are as consuming as hate, as ruthless as darkness bore into me. That's a lot of as. Do you have to say that many as? What is this adult swim with as? You have no idea, do you? Humans only love themselves. It is for themselves. They fight nothing more than that. That's not true. I am telling you, girl, what your eyes refuse to see, what people truly are. Sanda Yukimura is the same. He does not seek death out of love for Takada Shinken or out of love for you. He does it because he wants to live for himself to his last cursed breath. He wants to die as he lived, struggling 
fighting, bringing as many men to hell with him as will he give his life meaning. You're wrong. Lord Yukimori isn't like that. He's not like you. Whether you admit it or not, that's humanity. And as such, in that, he is like you. Iyasu takes a breath, readying his sword. This is the last time we will. I will actually beg me to spare your life. I refuse. Then die. I close my eyes tightly when I see him swing the sword upwards, waiting for the cold kiss of the still. And that's that, warriors. So stay off, take care to next and key and play the same. You write love, bad party. Yuki Morisanda story, the ending of it. Bye.